What's going on, Giants fans? I hope you're having a better day than all of the other Giants fans because it is official. The Giants are bringing back Joe Judge for the 2022 season, and who knows how long he will continue to be the New York Giants head coach. I never root against a guy like Dave Gettleman or Joe Judge. I want them to be the solution and not the problem. I'm just not sure if Joe Judge will ever be part of the solution. But Josina Anderson, she broke the news first. She said this, I'm told hashtag Giants head coach Joe Judge is staying. And that's unfortunate because Joe Judge has not shown anything, in my opinion, that he can be a solution and not a part of the problem for the Giants heading forward. But I want to get you guys involved early on in this show. Let me know, what was your one word reaction to the Giants keeping Joe Judge? Before I went to sleep last night, I said my prayers and I said, please, I hope I wake up to a to an uh, Adam Schefter bomb that Joe Judge is out as the Giants head coach. Unfortunately, that did happen. Maybe it comes in a couple days. Who knows? We'll touch about touch on some conflicting reports coming up. But let me know. What was your one-word reaction to the Giants keeping Joe Judge? For me, it's unacceptable. The only reason that I've seen from people that I've talked to and sources on Twitter that the Giants are keeping Joe Judge is the fact that they are tired of this revolving door that's been at head coach. They fired their previous two head coaches just after two seasons, and people are saying, and people that have talked to John Mara, they don't want that to continue, and that's why he will be back for the Giants for his third season in the NFL. And his first two seasons, they didn't go as planned. Six and ten his first season. I would actually say the Giants almost overachieved. They beat some tough teams. They had Colt McCoy come in for Daniel Jones, and they beat the Seahawks. And I actually got a lot of hope entering this season, but it all fell apart very, very quickly. Four and 13, and after the Daniel Jones injury, it was an absolute disgusting show that the Giants continuously put on the turf. Six straight losses, all of double digits bringing his record to 10 and 23. And I just don't understand why you would bring Joe Judge back. I want you to get in the comment section. Let me know what is one reason you think the Giants brought him back? Because I'm struggling to find one and I don't see any reason why, except for the simple fact that he hasn't had enough time. But I've seen enough and I know that Joe Judge has not been the guy and probably won't be the, the fixture for this Giants franchise, but who knows? I hope they will because I love the Giants and I will never root against them or a guy they hire, but I'm really concerned at the current state of the New York Giants franchise. We'll continue to talk about this Joe Judge news and Dave Gettleman being back or retiring, I'm sorry, we'll touch on that in a second. But subscribe to the channel, because just because the regular season is over, that doesn't mean our coverage is going to stop. We're actually going to ramp up our coverage, because the offseason is, off is what we're built for here at Chat Sports. NFL free agency, the NFL draft, the Giants have five picks in the top 80. So we'll be breaking it all down this channel. If you're looking for a one-stop shop for Giants news and rumors, this is your spot. So hit that big red button. Mike Garofolo tweeted this out, and I thought this was really interesting because early this morning there were reports that Joe Judge and John Mara were meeting and discussing the future of the franchise, but then he tweeted this out at 11 a.m. My understanding is Joe Judge has not yet met with the Giants' ownership, so there are more discussions to be had. We'll continue to monitor and update. Mike Garofolo also said that the Giants, they might not make a decision right away on Joe Judge like they did back in 2006 with Tom Coughlin when they met with Coughlin after that Black Monday back in 06 and eventually went to Wednesday when they said they would bring him back. But they had Coughlin map out an app outline of who was going to be his defensive coordinator, who was going to be his offensive coordinator, and why the Giants should stick on his side. But my one problem with that. Joe Judge is not Tom Coughlin. Tom Coughlin in that time frame before that meeting, he was above 500, been to the playoffs twice, and won an NFC East Divisional crown. Joe Judge has not done that. Art Stapleton, he had this to say. He said, the sense I get is Joe Judge will proceed and move forward as if he is coming back for the, as a head coach for the third, third season. It still may happen, but as a big part of this meeting that Garofalo talked about is which with ownership, which I'm told has not happened officially yet, and the recommendation of a new GM will matter. So it sounds like Mara is going to lean on Judge in this hiring of the next GM, and there were reports yesterday that came out from Jay Glazer that Joe Judge wants Kevin Abrams to be the next 
general manager of the New York Giants, and that's upsetting because the Giants are just going to do what the Giants do, promote from within and be the same old, same old. Jay Glazer, he put this tweet out yesterday. I thought it was really important. He said this, I believe the Giants brass is torn on what to do with Joe Judge because of the revolving door of coaches they've had in recent years. They have hesitation to move on because they'd had to add to that revolving door. At the same time, I have heard a ton of frustration inside that locker room. Not a little, a lot. Jay Glazer is one of the most accurate reporters in the NFL, and I take what he has to say in stone because he is usually always right. And I believe there are mixed signals with Joe Judge, and I think he should have been fired but let me know what you have to say. I woke up this morning hoping and praying that Joe Judge would be gone, but he's back, and it's unfortunate because I'm just not sure if he's ever going to be the guy. But get your votes in. Do you want Joe Judge to be fired? Type Y for yes, type N for no. The thing that upsets me the most about Joe Judge is the way they started his first season was ugly, but they finished strong through the 2020 campaign. This year, this team took a step back. I understand there was a lot of injuries, a lot of injuries on the offensive line. Anytime you lose your starting quarterback in Daniel Jones, it's tough to lose games. But this team didn't look like a team that he always talks about, that breathes culture and, and is a team built off heart and being a competitive team. That just hasn't looked like it. And I really believe this team took a step back. And I'm not sure why he'd be back because he is the first Giants coach in NFL history or franchise history to lose 13 games in an NFL season. That means he has put up the worst season in Giants history. And the Giants and John Mara, they're welcoming him back, welcoming him back with open arms. It's unbelievable. I thought this was really interesting. With the Giants back in 2020, Joe Judge started that season one and seven. But like I talked about just a second ago, they finished the season strong. But this year, once again, the Giants ended one and seven. So where's the growth? Where is the something that you can stick to and say that this franchise is improving? I haven't seen anything that alludes to the fact that they will be better next year. Hopefully they are. I hope they will. Maybe guys get healthy. Maybe Daniel Jones gets back and takes a step. Hopefully they hit on those first two draft picks that are 5 and 7 in the 2022 NFL draft. But when you start 1 and 7 in your NFL career and you end this season 1 and 7, it's tough to stand on anything as a Giants fan and believe in Joe Judge. I want to revisit this tweet that came out a day after Christmas. Adam Schefter reported, the New York Giants plan to bring back head coach Joe Judge and QB Daniel Jones for the 2022 NFL season per sources. The day after Christmas, a couple weeks ago. Since this tweet, before week 16 when they took on the Eagles, the Giants have been outscored 85 to 20 and they have been embarrassed on three Sundays in a row. And we know John Mayer hates being embarrassed, but it's if he continues to bring back Joe Judge and do the same things that the Giants have done, hoping that they can re-grasp that glory that they had in the 2000s and the two Super Bowl runs with Eli Manning. What they've done then worked, but they've tried that same formula and it hasn't worked. It's time for change and unfortunate for Giants fans, it does not sound like that is coming. But guys, I want to tell you about something awesome, BetUS. Go to chatsports.com slash bet and use the promo code chat125. When you do those two steps and you plug in 100 bucks on your account, they'll match it with a 125% deposit bonus. The NFL playoffs in here, and there's nothing like betting on playoff games. So go do it at chatsports.com slash bet. And remember, you got to use the promo code chat125. Some news that actually did come out of the Giants' mouth today is that Dave Gettleman has retired. And I want to talk about the Joe Judge thing one more time. The Giants, they announced that Dave Gettleman has retired. They didn't say anything about Joe Judge. And right now, players are speaking to the media having to say that Joe Judge is back. How about John Mara, you step up and say that Joe Judge is going to be back and you don't just throw your players out into the fire and have them do it in front of the media. But back to this Dave Gettleman news, this is what he had to say in a statement. It was a privilege to serve as the general manager of the New York Giants the last four years and to have spent so many years of my career with this franchise. We obviously have not had the on-field success I expected, and that is disappointing. However, I have many fond memories here, including two Super Bowl victories, and I wish the team and organization only the best moving forward. There are many good people here who pour their souls into this organization. I am proud to have worked alongside them. Classic Dave Gettleman sticking his chest out and singing his own praises like he did when he got hired as the Giants general manager. 
I don't want to say I never believed in Dave Gettleman because as a Giants fan, and like you are if you're watching this video, I know you have hope. I had hoped that Dave Gettleman would be the guy. It didn't work out, but what do you know? He leaves the same way he came in, singing his praising and touting his awesome resume that did not mean anything once he took over as the Giants general manager. But be the judge. Grade the Dave Gettleman era. Real simple. Get your red marker out. Write it in stone. Get in the comment section. I want to hear what you got to say. A, B, C, D, or F. John Mara also released a statement on Dave Gettleman, and he had this to say about the ongoing and upcoming general manager search. This will be a comprehensive search for our next general manager. We are looking for a person who demonstrates exceptional leadership and communication abilities, somebody who will oversee all aspects of our football operations, including player personnel, college scouting, and coaching. These next three guys, and we'll show you three more guys, have all been rumored to be on the interview list, and it is official now that Kevin Abrams, for the third time, will be interviewed as the Giants general manager. I'll give you a quick background on every single candidate, and then later this week, we will talk about potential Dave Gettleman replacements. Kevin Abrams is a favorite going into any general manager search for the Giants. He's been there for 23 years, and he's been the assistant general manager since 2002. When Jerry Reese was fired in 2007, Abrams steps in as the interim guy, and now he just handles the salary cap, and it was always reported that Dave Gettleman would make the moves, and he would just throw it on his desk and say, fix it. And then Joe Schoen, the current assistant general manager for the Buffalo Bills. I like what the Bills have done with their player personnel department and the pieces they've added, so I like that part. He's a member of the Bills executive department and currently works as the assistant GM. He was hired in 2017, and since then, the Bills have been one of the best teams in the AFC. What about Dave Ziegler, the current director of player personnel for the New England Patriots? Maybe that's a guy Joe Judge wants to bring in due to the New England Patriots ties. And there is rumors coming out that Joe Judge is going to have a say-so in the future GM of the New York Giants, which I'll let you guys decide on how you feel about that. The next guy I want to talk about, Monty Ossenford. He's currently the director of player personnel for the Tennessee Titans. He's been a key instrumental piece of what they've done in the drafts leading up to. And right now, the Titans are one of the best teams in the NFL, and they are also one of the deepest teams. They lose Derrick Henry, then they bounce back like nothing happened. Then Ryan Poles. He's currently the executive director of player personnel for the Kansas City Chiefs. He's currently in his 12th year with the Chiefs, and obviously he's doing something right if he's here with the team all the those years later. He served as a scouting assistant from 09 to 2012 and a college, scout, a college scouting coordinator from 2010 to 2016. Then he was upgraded to the director of college scouting in 2016 to 2018 and now he's the assistant director of player personnel and then he moved on to the executive, director, the, uh, executive player of personnel operations manager and then Lewis Riddick. I know all of you guys are big fans of him. The current Monday Night Football host. These are all these six guys that we just showed you have all been rumored to have interviews lined up to be the next Giants general manager. And none of those guys are the guys I would hire. I want to hire a guy like Ed Dodds or Will McClay, the current guy with the uh, Dallas Cowboys, or Ed Dodds, the assistant general manager for the Indianapolis Colts. But give me a name. Who do you want to be the next Giants general manager? And guys, hit me up on Twitter. I'm tweeting about the Giants all day, every day, and I'm trying to get to 1,000 followers. We just crossed over 800, so thank you to everybody that's hit me up on Twitter. If you haven't yet, do so at MarshallGreen underscore.